Hi. Oh, how are you? <laughs> uh, is this Are you looking Bob? for Mary Jane, uh, jazz cigarettes, reefer, uh, Tennessee tickle grass, uh, Satan's coleslaw, Nixon's lament, uh, pickled pipe weed? I'm skunkbag Roger, by the way. And Horton's Hash Heaven has you covered, my man. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah? <laughs> I, I've never had weed before, and I heard it was legal, so I was like, you gotta try it. <laughs> No problem, bro. You prefer indica or sativa? I don't know. This guy doesn't know. That is not dank. But don't worry, we have all sorts of strains. Even though weed has been crossbred so many times, experts think indica and sativa are indistinguishable at this point. But we're going to continue to use the terminology to make you think you're getting a special kind of high that's specific to your needs. So, how about a bud we call Sour Pineapple Thunder Kush? I'm looking for something that's going to help me get high and ignore my kids. <laughs> All right, you got it, boss. One package of THC Lace Sour Gummies that taste like Willy Wonka's taint for some reason. Coming right up. Hi. I'm Roger, and I'll be your bud tender for your cannabinoid purchasing experience today. What happened to the other guy? <laughs> oh, we rebranded. Horton's Hash Heaven is now Mr. Horton's Smartleaf Bud Bar, where fine, upstanding members of society, such as yourself, can purchase cannabis without ever feeling as though you're doing something as unsavory as drugs. Those are for, you know, other people. Oh, well, I still don't really know anything about weed. Oh, that doesn't matter. I've made its minutia my entire tedious personality and will use so many technical terms that by the time you've sorted out BHO from CBDP and NKVD and WXYZ, we've sent you on your way with a $750 hot dog shaped bong made out of onyx, along with a dozen overpriced grinders, dabbers, and widgets you'll be too afraid to ask the purpose of. So go ahead and pick a strain. They all smell like the uh, ass end of a dying wolverine. But this one has, let's say, smooth tones and a mild finish. Oh, so how are your strands different from what you were selling before? Oh, they're not. Not to your Cheeto munching ass. Okay, ouch. But the Smart Leaf Bud Bar is the Apple Store of cannabis, in that you're paying a premium for the experience of feeling superior to people who consume the same basic product elsewhere. After all, you're a smart, savvy, suburban consumer who just wants to unwind after a hard day of work. Not one of the hundreds of thousands of chumps across America's lame-o states who still get arrested every year for marijuana possession. Jeez, it sucks to be those guys. <laughs> it sure does. Like the old saying goes, if fun for white people there be, arrest for minorities you'll see. I don't think that's a phrase. But you don't need to feel guilty about the fact that weed has become a $30 billion business, while thousands of Americans, including a disproportionate number of minorities, are still languishing in state prisons on life-altering felony charges for enjoying sweet, sweet doobie. Because if you did, maybe you wouldn't buy as many of our stupidly overpriced pre-rolls and edibles we say are made with... Parisian chocolate, so you can feel classy when you get blasted on your couch. Let me get you a little sample. Ooh. We were acquired by Horton Consolidated Holdings, which is rapidly replacing the vast majority of small businesses with a nationwide empire of flavorless Horton cannabis stores, so that even the squarest of Americans don't feel intimidated when buying a drug the government once told them would drive them into a state of primordial madness, usually reserved for Lovecraft protagonists who saw a weird cube. Yeah, great, whatever. I really just want to get high, man. 
Well, then I have good news because we've made absorbing a psychoactive that alters your neural chemistry until you think your own feet are the funniest objects on God's green earth so easy that you won't even have to think of the consequences. Um, okay, great. One weed, please. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, but not too often because routine cannabis use has been linked to respiratory problems, anxiety and depression, memory and concentration issues, reduced sperm counts, and questionable taste in fashion and music, among a cornucopia of other woes. The risk is worse if you start smoking as a teen, by the way. Sorry, kids, your dork parents are right, but you should still rebel and smoke up because this shit doesn't sell itself. Hey, so that was the scariest thing I've ever heard. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll just stick to beer. Oh, come on. Weed isn't nearly as bad for you as alcohol and tobacco, at least as far as we can tell after decades of it being all but impossible to research. And when has a large corporation that sells little tubes of leaves that you light up and suck down ever misled consumers? No, never. <laughs> I'm Roger. And as a good friend of mine once said, smoke weed every day. I have bills to pay. <sighs>